you will come across calculations written like the following. 6 plus positive 2, 6 plus negative 2, 6 minus positive 2, and 6 minus negative 2. And we need to have a way of making sense of what this plus positive 2 or plus negative 2 or whatever means. Now, some of it's fairly obvious, right? Positive 2 is just the plain old number 2 that we've always been dealing with since we were in grade 1. So 6 plus positive 2 must just be the same as saying 6 plus 2. And similarly, if we say 6 minus positive 2, positive 2 is just the plain old 2 we've always been dealing with. So this must just be the same as 6 minus 2. But what about these other ones? If we say 6 plus negative 2, well, mathematically, for things to continue making sense, this must actually be equal to 6 minus 2. And if we have 6 minus negative 2, again, for it all to kind of work mathematically, we need this to mean 6, the same as 6 plus 2. But it's not necessarily going to be easy for you to remember all of this immediately. So I'm going to give you a little trick to remember what these things are. Okay, so the little trick I'm going to give you to help you remember this stuff is to think about the positive positive and negative as things in your life. In other words, positive things in your life might be happiness, laughter, friends, smiles, etc. And the negative stuff is like misery, tears, unhappiness. Um, and really what we're going to do is we're going to think about what happens if we add something positive to our life or add something negative or take away something positive or take away something negative. Is it the same as improving, adding to our life or taking away, getting worse in our life? So let's just go through this. For example, here I'm going to be adding something positive to my life. In other words, if I'm adding something like happiness and laughter and everything to my life, obviously I'm just adding to my life. It's going to get better. And 6 plus 2 we know is just 8. Similarly, if I, if I like think here, I can think like this. I'm adding something negative to my life. In other words, I'm adding tears, misery, unhappiness, all those things to my life. I'm adding those to my life. My life is getting less. It's getting worse. In other words, adding all that negative stuff, it's taking away from my life. The next little one is what I've got is I'm going to take away the positive stuff. In other words, I'm taking away happiness and laughter from my life. Obviously, if I take away those positive things, it's my life is going to be getting less. I'm taking away from my life. And then the last thing would be if I take away the negative stuff from my life. In other words, if I get rid of, take away the misery, the tears, the unhappiness, if I take those away from my life, obviously my life is getting better. It's like I'm adding to my life. So that's just a little trick to help you think of it. Taking away the positive. If I take away the positive, obviously it's getting worse. It's like taking away. But if I take away the negative, if I take away all the horrible stuff, it's like I'm getting better. It's more positive. So that just helps us as a little trick to remember how to do things. Okay. Let's practice a few. The thing we always want to do first is get rid of all those brackets, so we're just back where we used to be. So let's have a look here. What we've got in the first one is we're going to be taking away negative. In other words, we're taking away the tears and the misery. We're taking away the negative stuff. Taking that away is going to be like adding to our life. In other words, taking away the negatives is adding. So we're going to have negative 2 plus... Four, in other words, four steps up, and that gets us to two. In the next one, what we are going to be doing here is we're adding positive stuff. We're adding positive stuff. That's just adding. And what we've got is we're at negative 15, and we add on two. Now, I don't have negative 15 on my number line, but I can picture it, right? If I'm at negative 15, and I take two steps up, I'm going to end up at negative 13. 
Okay, I want you to try the next two and we'll go over it together. Pause the video now, open your homework books and try it in there. Right, let's check what we did. We first needed to get rid of these brackets. If I am adding on a negative, if I'm adding misery and everything like that to your life, adding misery to your life is taking away from your life. In other words, this is just the same as this. So we've got negative 2 and we take 3 steps down. We're going to end up at negative 5. Did you get that? Okay, and the next one, we're going to be taking away the negative. In other words, we're taking away the misery, the tears, and the unhappiness. If I'm taking away your misery and tears and unhappiness, I'm obviously going to be improving your life, adding to your life. In other words, it's going to be 16 plus 12, and that is nice and easy. It's 28. All right, we're going to look at another idea that will help us. With addition, it doesn't matter the order in which you do things. You, you know this, right? If you've got three sweets and you've also got two sweets, it's exactly the same saying you've got two sweets and then you also put together another three sweets with them. Or if you've got 50 sweets and you put 73 sweets with them, it doesn't matter if you first get the 73 and then you put the 50 with them. Okay, so to put that all down, what we're saying there, it doesn't matter if you say 3 plus 2 or 2 plus 3, you get the same answer. It's just as similarly, you don't, if you say 50 plus 73, it's the same as 73 plus 50. No matter what we add together, it doesn't matter the order in which we do it. And we give this a very special name. We talk about it as saying addition is commutative. Commutative is just a very fancy way of saying it doesn't matter the order in which you do it, right? Now, that's going to help us when we come to negative numbers. Because something like this, where we say negative 3 plus 7, well, we've got two things that are added together. This plus this. So, our commutativity law, in other words, the order doesn't matter, says we can just swap the order around. And we can say 7 first plus minus 3. Now, we know that if we add... A negative number. So if we add something negative, that is exactly the same as taking away. And so we can get a very simple simple um, calculation to do, which is 7 minus 3. And we've known since we were in grade 2 or 1 even, that that is just equal to 4. All right, you try one now. If I ask you to do negative 12 plus 43, you can kind of see this like you've got negative 12 and you're adding on 43. Order doesn't matter, so you can use that commutivity to make it easier. Pause the video, try it now, and we'll go over it together after that. Okay, so the first step would be to say, right, 43 plus minus 12. And you know that if I add on a negative, it is the same as subtracting. 43 minus 12 is very easy to do. That answer is 31. 